Peter Jackson's children, Billy and Katie Jackson, appeared in each film of the trilogy. The scene where Gandalf calls Shadowfax was shot in a single take. John Rhys Davies, who portrayed the character Gimli, is the second tallest person on the film crew with a height of 6 feet 1 inch 185 centimeters. Christopher Lee is the tallest person on the Lord of the Rings film crew, standing at 1.96 meters tall. At first, Peter Jackson, who initially considered adding Gollum directly as an animation to the film, changed his mind when he saw the recording that Andy Serkis sent for voice auditions. Upon seeing it, he opted for Andy Serkis to portray Gollum using motion capture technology. Viggo Mortensen, who played Aragorn, refused to use a stunt double in his action scenes. In fact, he insisted that the swords he would use be real steel rather than lightweight aluminum or more reliable rubber swords. Bob Anderson, who choreographed the sword fights for the crew, said Mortensen was the best swordsman he had ever trained up to that point. In a scene from the first film, the character Lurtz throws a dagger towards Aragorn. This dagger is real and was intended to miss Mortensen and hit a tree behind him. However, the actor wearing the orc costume misaimed and threw the dagger directly at Mortensen. Mortensen managed to block the dagger with his real sword at that moment. So, that scene is entirely real. Of course, Mortensen wasn't always that lucky. In Air the Lord of the Rings, the two towers, during the scene where Aragorn kicks an orc helmet in despair, thinking Merry and Pippin are dead, Mortensen actually broke two of his toes. However, he continued to play his character without breaking character. So, the scream we hear from Aragorn in the film is actually Mortensen's reaction to the pain of breaking his toes. In other words, the pain was completely real. Peter Jackson found Mortensen's commitment to continue acting despite the pain quite impressive. Mortensen, on the other hand, said, our stunt doubles often get much worse injuries. While talking about mishaps, during the early filming of The Two Towers, Viggo Mortensen performed with broken toes, John Rhys Davies, who portrayed Gimli, had a dislocated knee, and Orlando Bloom acted with a broken rib. Additionally, during the scene where Aragorn falls from a cliff and is dragged in the river after the battle with the wargs, Viggo Mortensen truly faced death. Mortensen was pulled down to the bottom by the current and managed to propel himself to the surface by hitting the riverbed. The young actress who played Sam's daughter in The Return of the King was Sean Astin's real daughter. This was a lovely detail that created a nice connection in the film. When the film ended, director Peter Jackson gave both Andy Serkis and Elijah with the ring that we all know. Both actors were quite surprised by this because they thought only one ring had been used during the filming.